Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit about e-commerce, but e-commerce with a twist. And uh, before I get there, I have a few questions. How many of you have an iPhone, iPhone or iPad? Come on, hands up. I got one. Yeah. All right. You're lying. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, it costs around six hundred thousand five hundred taka. Uh, did you know it could buy you around so much kg of rice, and it could feed? 9,333 number of people and a member of, of uh, you know, family could sustain on it for 2,333 meals or food for a family for 707. <laughs> <laughs> That's your new Boeing 777 for you, right? <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Digital camera. All right. A lot of them going off over here. Average price is that, and it could buy you so many paracetamol tablets. That means in a village it could treat 3,083 cases of fever. Laptop, average price 35,000 taka. 35,000 taka is equal to 116 saris. In the village it is clothing for 58 women for one year. There are around, I mean there were supposed to be 400 people if all the seats are full in this room. And then tech worth, what I'd like to call it, would be around two crore taka, and which means it's 50 acres of cultivation land. Uh, that's around 40 lakh pieces of embroidery work. You can imagine how long it takes to make one of these for a woman. So many meals, and for, is that 4,444 fishermen's monthly income. Welcome to the new divide, the tech elites, all of you. Well, let me show you a different face of technology. You see, uh, in a Bengali wedding, I mean, those who have been fortunate or unfortunate to get married, uh, <laughs> and the men would have received a watch from the mother-in-law or the father-in-law, because uh, you see, in the Mughal period, you would have got actually a necklace out of fashion nowadays, so you get a watch. And a watch, why? Because it's expensive. It's like jewelry. It's given to you. And, and then if you look at Patek Philips website, it says you don't own a watch, you just look after it for the next generation and, and you know, all that. And, and a Rolex is a sign of, you know, wealth. But Casio changed that one day. Casio said that, no, time is not a luxury. Time cannot be a commodity for a few. Time is a necessity. And Casio took on the vision to take technology and break this divide down and made time available. So, you see, you have to get back to understanding technology on a more, uh, not as a tech item, but what it can do. You have to question what, it, what the possibilities of it is. So, to make a difference, you have to think differently. I think you have to start thinking differently. You have to see differently, of course. You have to be different. And above all, you want to have to make a difference. So, you see, tech. So out of this guilt conscious of you know, having all three, a laptop, iPhone and a camera, I decided it has to change. You know. if it, I don't mind you having this. What, the point is what do you do with it? If you can use it to better someone else's life, to contribute to change, uh, you know, that will implicate things around you. If you can make things happen, then you see it goes beyond your own personal need. You go on to solve other people's need. You, you can then only make a difference. What we did in uh, my country, my village, or Amar Desh Amar Gram, is uh, we took this technology that we have with us and we turned it totally upside down. You see, when you look at Amazon, eBay, Flipkart, and everything like that, they're all geared to people who have this technology at their, you know, which is available to them. Or it's very, I would say, almost urban-centric. So, if we were to take e-commerce to the poorest of the poor, to give it to the people who have, don't have access to this technology, but use e-commerce to change their lives, that would be really something, wouldn't it? So we said, how could we do this? So you see the bottleneck over here, what people think is that uh, when we talk about e-commerce, the producer, the seller, both of them have to have access to this technology. 
So this access to this technology does not mean you have to have the technology in your hand, really. Um, what we created was things like e-centers, where we ta train local people, people from those villages, to understand how to register someone, their product, how to uh, bring it all to, onto a website, and then from this website we could uh, place orders. They would go out to these entrepreneurs, place those orders, talk to the shipping people, eventually it will reach your doorsteps. And it's possible. You see why it's possible? Because it started out with people like us, who have no money, a lot of heart, and the will to make change. I think what's important is the last one. Is if you have the will to make the change, then the change will happen. The rest is not important. <laughs> what Amar Desh, Amar Gram is trying to do is not just trying to do a web portal or e-commerce site. It's trying to bring in a lot of things that will happen from here. We're waiting for 3G to come because we will have one of Bangladesh's greatest uh, science fiction writer reading a book at home and we'll be transmitting into villages around Bangladesh. We will have, uh, we'll try to make telemedicine successful. We will try to bring in um, uh, wealth of knowledge from different sectors so it can be accessed. So we will try to make Maya even more successful. So what we want to do is create a platform that unites everyone's attempt and to, to, and to make it grow and to, to really reach the people where it will really have a lot more impact than just in this room. Um, this project has already won four major awards this year, but for us the real award was that when we changed the rule of the country, you see, there was a law that you could not use Bangladeshi credit cards on the internet. It was this project that convinced the Bangladesh governor to lift that ban and now e-commerce is open for everyone to use. It won the National Digital Innovation Award, the uh, um, MDG Goal Award, the EASIA Award, the Manthan Award, but I think what I really want to say over here is different Bangladesh has to start with making a difference in people's lives. And you see, I think I'm doing a little bit of my part, go and do yours. <laughs>